Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya 2024. Well, if you know my channel, you know I've been at it for 10 plus years. I made well over 1300 videos and I always try to make original and new content, right? So today you're going to be covering another topic that I never covered before and it's called matching. Now, um, let's get started. I'm going to create a couple of objects here. We're going to create a, a cube and a sphere and a cylinder. There you have it. And we're going to move that around. Now, using the tool that I want to explain today is very simple, but understanding when and why to use it is a bit more complicated. That um, requires a little bit of imagination, right? So I'll go through it step by step to give you an idea. Now, if I look at this cube here, it has a certain translate value, right? So I created it and it's in this position or that position or that position and so forth. And the pivot point is exactly in the middle right now and the scale value is at a certain level, etc., etc. Now, what we're talking about here, you can find it under modify is match transformations. Now you can match all transformations, but I don't want to do that. I want to treat them individually. So we're going to look at match translation, match rotation, and match scaling, and match pivot. All right, so what you want to do is you want to um, select the item that you want to match um, as the last one. So kind of being the master, if you will, right? So if I rotate this guy, and for whatever reason, I want all the other objects to match this rotation value. I'll select one, shift select the second, and then finally select the one that I want the others to match with, right? So shift select this guy. We're gonna go up to uh, modify and we're gonna go to match rotation. And as we do that, you see that they immediately take that same value, right? So pretty straightforward. Right, what else? Let's say we want to match the pivot point. Now, this is a tricky one because right now the pivot point for this guy, if I hit W, you can see it's in the middle. Now you would kind of think, well, if we match the pivot point, then if I move this pivot point to the bottom, the other two will be at the bottom as well. But that's not the case. You want to have the same value and the pivot point of the cube is right here. So if I match the pivot points of the other objects, theirs will be here as well. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, let's say this is the origin of your rotation and you want everything to rotate around it, right? So if I select this guy, shift select this guy, and then shift select this guy as the last one, because I want all the others to match with this one, and I go up to modify, and we go to match pivots. You probably think, well, nothing has changed. Well, definitely, look, because if I, it's like this, its pivot point is right here. So now if I want to rotate, rotate this guy, it'll be done from here. This guy, same deal, right? So that's what you need to be aware of. Okay, so we looked at uh, rotate, we looked at pivot point, what else? Let's see what else we got. We got uh, pivots, okay, scaling. All right, let's say I'm gonna make this guy larger, right? Now keep in mind that, that this is proportionate scaling. So if this is this size to begin with, and this is much bigger, right? If this uh, scales up by a factor of two, this will scale up by a factor of two as well, right? So let me just make this a bit bigger. We'll make this a bit smaller, there you have it. Okay, so I'm just like this guy first, that one second, and then finally the object where I wanted the value to be matched with, right? So just like this guy. I'm gonna go up, modify, we're gonna go to match scaling. And as we do so, you can see the others scale up as well. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's get back to where we were. I think that's about it, something like so. And let's see what else we got. So we're gonna go in here, we did pivots, we did scaling, we did rotation. How about translation? Now again, this is one to think about. The translate values tell an object where it is, right? So in the X, Y, and Z axis. So the cube is right here, as you can see. 
Now, if you match the translation values, then everything is going to be in the same position based on its pivot point, right? So if I select this, shift select this guy, and then finally shift select this guy, everything will move to this location where the pivots will match up, right? So we're going to go in here, we're going to go to match translation. And as we do so, you'll see that everything is now in the same spot, right? We got our uh, cube in there, we got our cylinder, and we got our, uh, our sphere. So again, it's important to understand when this would be a beneficial thing to do. And uh, I'm sure if you use your imagination, you will find a very, very cool ways to, uh, to use it. And uh, if you have a very cool way to use it, share in the comments to give other people some ideas, right? So yeah, that's all I wanted to share here. Uh, of course, you can go in to modify and match and then match all transforms. I personally haven't found a reason to do that or anything that would be helpful if I did that, right? But hey, maybe you find something. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about Maya, uh, things you don't understand or want to see explained, please let me know in the comments, right? Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.